Alright. Alright, guys. And up next, we have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I actually do love the name of that championship. I think they combined them perfectly. A lot of people have been talking shit that it sounds too long. I think it's a great name for the world title. WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It makes it sound legit and like the biggest title on the fucking planet. And I like the way they did it. I think they couldn't have done it any better. I just don't like that they mixed the title. I do. I'm glad I, I just think I like that... I the Undisputed Champ kind of... Yeah, because if you're Undisputed cool, Champ, but... like Chris Jericho was the first, <clears throat> and he did it... But here's the thing. I think, but here's the thing. If they continuously do that, it's a continued reminder that there was two championships. I don't think they should do that. I think they should kill the fact that there was two championships, like they're doing right now, to the point where everybody can forget about it, that there was two championships. It's just the main title on the planet. They want to say, I'm the biggest wrestling company on the fucking planet. And this title right here is the biggest fucking wrestling title on the planet. Because before, who really knew which one was bigger? You had us WCW guys that said, well, it was the World Heavyweight title. You had the WWE guys saying, well, it was the WWE title. One was the Hulk Hogan title. One was the Ric Flair title. Um, so this one combines them both and says, this title. It's one big super title. Right. I know, but the, why don't you want the World Heavyweight and WWE both be uh, Apart, no, because, because listen, I, listen. I, I don't like because not being able to tell who's the best wrestler on the planet. Well, uh, you can look at their records. No, I don't want to. I want there to be a title for the best wrestler on the planet. I shouldn't have to research the records, even though I do. I should be able to look at the title. Who holds the title? Who's Is the, the man. Right to, like Flair used to say, to be the man, you have to beat the man. How can you beat the man if there's two the men? Well, you can decide who you could personally have an opinion about. I think. I think they should kill SmackDown too. That no. Kill SmackDown. And if you're gonna have SmackDown, fine. Make it. That's fine. Make it more interesting. That's fine. You can make it more interesting. But I don't believe it should. Each show should have its own title. I I do personally. I didn't like when they, uh, I liked it when, like, Friday Night Smackdown and Monday Night Raw are two, like, different shows warring with each other with Laura Nice and Teddy Lynch. I don't like it. Uh, if, uh, unless, if they're gonna do it, that, here's what they should do. They should buy TNA and make their own, what they should have done is what they should have done with the WWE, I mean, with WCW. You have two different companies warring. Everybody knows that Raw and SmackDown is the same fucking company. It's the same people. There's no point. Well, like if you, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. And with, they did the split titles. They, if Raw, if Raw has the WWE, the WWE championship, but and then SmackDown has the World Heavyweight Championship, they, then they're split. They, and if they have two different genders, they managers, did the brand split for ten years. Yeah, they they I, tried it. It was great. It was outstanding. But the brand split has worn itself out. Nobody's interested in the brand split anymore. You may be. You may like it. But majority of wrestling fans are not interested in the brand split because most people don't watch SmackDown anyway. So the truth of it is, is sell out season. Huh? Is that sell out season have a lot of views for SmackDown? Not like Raw. Well, that's why SmackDown's not live. It's because it's it's the B show. It's not the major show. Anyway, picks. Well, with that being said, obviously, here's the thing. We're going into this amazing matchup. I love Randy Orton versus John Cena. I always have. I love it when they wrestle. Uh, they came up in the in the uh, OVW together. Um, me and uh, one of my old best friends, we used to continuously go back and forth. He was a Cena fan. I'm an Orton fan. But I'm, I really only like Orton when he's heel. Um, and he is heel right now. Um, with that said... Um, Part of me, I would love to see Orton remain the champ. Um, I, unless Cena is going to turn heel. Um, when it comes to what I think will happen, with Orton and the authority going back and forth, my logic says there's something going to happen there. Um, maybe they don't want Orton as the champ going into main. I can see Orton. Uh, I can see that the authority come out and mess with Orton, and Orton lose the title, and it could be Orton and Triple H. Here's what I would like to see. Yeah, that could happen. That would be great. That would give. 
Uh, here's what I would like to see. I would like to see Cena turn heel and join the authority. I would like him to become the corporate Cena and join the authority. Corporate Cena? Yeah, he, that's what he belongs. He's the, he is the corporate face. He's the super Cena. He gets pushed all the time by the company. That's who he is. That's the truth. Violent change of gimmick. Yep. But with that being said, I don't I don't think it'll happen. So I think Cena wins the title because he's the guy that got rid of Batista. If Cena wins the title, I think we will absolutely see Batista win the Royal Rumble. Absolutely see Cena Batista at WrestleMania. If Orton wins, I still don't know. It still could be Batista. Um but yeah, because Orton and him had a face-to-face -face confrontation in the ring. So. Or, Cena's going for that 16 times. Um, I think they're going to give it to him. Um, I don't think he's going for 16 times here. But he's going for the record of 16 times at some point. So with that being the case, I think they're going to try to give Cena as many world title runs as possible. So I think Cena wins tonight, continues being the actual face of the company. Um... Been the face of the company. Yeah, he is. I love Orton. I think Orton's a better wrestler, but I think Cena's the face of the company. When you see WWE, you always see John Cena. Just and that's a, that. That would be a beautiful way of how to turn him heel. It would. Yeah, because Hulk Hogan, when he went to the NWO back mm -hmm. in the day, he was the face of the company. Good guy. He's been a good guy for years. Make Cena the. And make, then they turned him randomly. Make he Cena. Cena. Make Cena finally admit he's the face of the company and that he runs shit. And then that'll make him a bad guy. And and people. You know, it's just the and truth. people actually, like, people boo Cena, but it'll be more cheers, I think, I if he turns heel. When it be Cena, with this particular match, with him, with it being as personal as it got with the attack on his father. They've done that before, though, with Well, Orton. yeah, I know, but I think that kind of, it kind of adds to why people think he's going to win. Yeah. Personally, I think Randy Orton will win only because of the Batista-Randy Orton history. So. Yeah. I'd like to see that, but at the same time, I'm a John Cena fan, so of course I want to see John Cena win. So here's and, what here, John Cena going heel would be to you. Here's would be like the best thing yeah. ever happened. Here's what makes this match actually hard to pick. Um, is that I could see Batista winning the Rumble and facing either one of these guys. Yeah, both, so. both of them make sense, and that's also why part of me thinks they're they're not going to let Batista win the Rumble because everybody's right now has to be predicting Batista. Yeah, yeah, because so they may have told like so they no one expected to win. Like Daniel Bryan. Yeah, Daniel um, Bryan, uh, Bray Wyatt. They could have any. Yeah, because like, like you said, the Cena Bray Wyatt rivalry. Yeah, that, that would be perfect she, if Bray Wyatt rumors. won the Rumble. There's rumors that Sheamus is coming back. Right, Sheamus. Oh yeah, Sheamus. So, she what if he's heel? Everybody what if he's always. Heel and what if he comes back during the one Rumble, yeah. Rumble and ends up winning it? Because remember. If you go back to 2010, I believe when Edge came back, when he was injured, he ended up winning the Rumble, and yep. no one thought he was going to. So maybe it could be the same thing, but this was Sheamus. No, that's a perfect prediction. That's a perfect possibility. Sheamus coming back to win the Rumble, and that would be amazing, actually. Yeah. I never had to get my pick. Spot, like Edge did. Yeah, yeah, I I never, yeah, I never really gave my pick for this match, yeah. so I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm personally going to pick Cena. Because I think uh, there's a couple possibilities of Cena now. Because there's Shane. Like, I forgot. I totally forgot about Shane. I forgot he was coming. He most likely will be coming back to Rome. And Jericho. I think Jericho will be back. Yeah, it could be Jer Jericho. There's Jericho. That could, there's Sheamus has feuded with Cena before. Well, they're they're and they're, then, they're advertising. Yeah. Well, we'll get to the Rumble yeah. later. Um, okay, so Cena. This match, I think it's gonna be Randy Orton, but I'd love to see Cena and him go heel. That's what I want to see, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen just based on what we've seen. I think John Cena walks away with the title. I hope so. I don't. I don't. I, don't I hope, hope so. he does. I, don't I hope, hope so Randy either. Orton kicks his ass. So do but I. I think Cena will win. Okay, so well, I'm a Cena fan, so of course I'm gonna say two of us want Cena to win. I mean, want Orton to win, but think Cena will win. The other one wants Cena to win and thinks Orton will win. So either either way, none of us believe the WWE is going to give us what we want tonight. <laughs> so the truth of it is, is I think that pretty much describes the WWE World Heavyweight Title match. Uh, the consensus says John Cena is walking away with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. With that being said, we'll be right back after this small break with our prediction of the Royal Rumble itself. I'll give you the list of guys that are involved in the Royal Rumble. It's going to take me a second. got to set this thing up because I'm going to put the real guys that are involved in the Royal Rumble matchup. And so when we come back, we're doing...